two scared of bunk beds because it's wobbly. I guess it was pretty traumatic for a three and a half year old to see her entire house falling inside. What does the wobbly remind you of? The shake shakes. Christchurch. Three years on from the magnitude 7.1 earthquake and thousands of residents are still trapped in a cycle of frustration. For some, there's no resolution and no ability to rebuild their homes and their lives. It's like it happened yesterday. If that thought tops in at two o'clock in the morning, I feel exactly like I did when the earthquakes were happening. So there's no separation of time or location. Post-traumatic stress disorder doesn't have a a, a timeline. People can suffer from it for a year or two or for a lifetime. I never actually thought of myself as having post-traumatic stress disorder, but then it's really hard to think about who was I, what was I, what was life prior to the earthquakes. Some people recover from trauma by uh, taking a vacation. Some people recover from trauma by going to church. Some people recover from trauma by doing volunteer work. And I think the art of the science is to help people find what is the key for them. I think it's important to concentrate on making sure that the kids are still being children. Surrounding myself with good people, doing things that are good for me, and remembering those small things. Sunday morning, 8.30 on TV1 and online at attitudelive.com.